Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever thought to yourself, I just needed a bigger bar? You're gonna need a bigger boat. So I didn't realize that figuring out how many bottles I have, which I still haven't figured that all out yet, was going to cause more problems, but it did. You know, I didn't do the bourbon haul in February, trying to get a lot of things set up down here. And then I realized, you know, like that famous line in Jaws, you're going to need a bigger boat. I'm probably going to need a bigger bar. It's like when I started putting things together, I realized, dang, you got a lot of dang stuff. And dang, you probably did your, your budget. My budget is not talking to me. My budget surpassed Q1, is into Q2 pretty deep right now. And I've still got spillway this upcoming week. So I'm kind of, kind of scared coming in. So I, I try to be realistic with a budget. And then there's months like this that didn't, that just blew me away. And please note that I am just sharing the things that I got. It doesn't, I don't try to, I'm not trying to look at me, look at me, I promise you. Because I almost feel awkward showing these things off. But I think it's fun too because it's neat because people can see what's available. Please don't do what I do. That's all I'm asking you right now. Don't do what I do. Do as I say, not as I do. But that being said, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic month. It's a lot, so I better just get into it. Um, we'll start off. We'll start off, and we'll see where we go. So, benchmark foolproof. There's a reason behind the benchmark foolproof, and it's because there's video that I want to do with it. Um, I had a bottle; it hadn't been opened. My brother-in-law was looking forward to it, for it. I got it for him. Um, you know, they were looking forward to it at the holidays. So, you know, I said, "Okay, I'll get another one." So I got another one. Cool beans. This is going to be an upcoming video uh, versus some stuff. I'm not going to spoil the video now, but it's going to be a comparison. I'm looking forward to that. Man, where do I want to go? I'll tell you what. I'll start right here. So, 1792 single barrel. I had made mention in a video that, hey, the single barrel is the one that I can't find. I'm looking for it. You know, I just haven't been able to find it. I was able, well, that, that'll lead into another bottle that I got this month too. But I couldn't find this one. I needed some help finding this one. So what does Dave Vogel saying do? He sends me a bottle of it. On top of that, I had mentioned also <laughs> earlier in the month that I didn't have a black cap early times. So he sends me the black cap early times and the single barrel. And I'm like, wow. And what's not represented here is there was also another of the 1792 single barrels, a store pick that I also got this month that it's around here somewhere that I actually traded for somebody for, you know, after I got this, this person said, Hey, I saw you wanted this. And I picked one of these up for you. And I'm like, I'm not going to leave someone in the lurch. They were doing the right thing. I said, well, let's trade out something. And so we found a bottle that he'd, that he'd liked and I liked. So now I have two single barrels, one standard and one a store pick. Um, so absolutely excited about that. Got the early times black cap. Fantastic about that. I'm very excited about that. Thank you very much, Dave, for both of these. And like I said, this full proofer is going to be for a video. Let me set these down because I've got to make a lot of room. This is just going to be one of those days. So one of the other bottles that I was happy to, to look for was this 1792 12 year. I'd never seen the 12 year anywhere and happened to be out bourbon hunting. Um, you know, and I was out with Chris and he showed me a bunch of stores, a bunch of awesome stores. Man, did I forget something else up there too? I think I forgot something else I'm going to have to get in a minute. It's up there. So... While we were out doing a uh, bourbon hunting in his in his area where he grew up at over in the Macon area and things like that, we uh, found this bottle at a price that I was willing to pay for it. It wasn't MSRP, wasn't truly full secondary, but it was at a price point that I was comfortable with. Negotiated with one of the owners, was able to pick this up, was very excited about that. You know, part of that same trip, let me pull this bottle down really quick. There we go. Was able to pick up this Bomb Burgers. This is the 2022 Bomb Burgers. 
and yeah, you notice I had to reach up to another shelf. Yeah, there's another level up there. So, so I picked up this Bomb Burgers 2022, and there's, I think, yeah, so there's another level below that you can't even see here. So you can't even really see this level, another level below too. But the Bomb Burgers 2022, when we were there, I was trying to find a bottle for Chris, and I was trying to get someone, you know, to talk down a price and get it for Chris. And we walk into a store where he tells me as we walk in, we're not going to get anything here. This guy's just a collector. He's a museum, you know. And so sure enough, I walk in, he's got all these wonderful bottles behind the counter. And they've got all these jacked up prices on them. But we're going down the aisles and we see two Bomb Burgers and one Shanks. And so I picked up the Bomb Burgers 2022. Chris got the 2021 Shanks and Bomb Burgers. So he got a complete set at a very reasonable price. A little bit over MSRP, yes, but it was a price that we were both comfortable with. Another one from this month that was just insane. So I've got two bottles here. Let's see where they are. Yeah, so let me see. What do I want to grab first? Oh, bad when you have a whole bunch of stuff you want to grab. So, James E. Pepper, this is a single barrel James E. Pepper. Um, you know, what's funny is this right here, one of the gentlemen I, I, I deal with all the time, Matt, super awesome guy out of Maple Party Shop. He was on vacation and he goes into a bourbon store and, you know, because that's what you do on vacation. And uh, he's like, hey, do you want one of these James E. Peppers? I'm getting one for myself. And I'm like, Yes. So he picks this up for me, so I reimburse him when he gets back in town. But why he not only gets a single barrel James E. Pepper, he finds something I've never seen before anywhere. And this is a can this is a Crown Royal. This is a, a Bankhead beverage Crown Royal, and it's coming in at a hundred and three proof. So first time I've ever seen a hundred three proof hand selected Crown Royal. New for me, Bankhead, which does a great job. Was looking forward to that so matt picked that up i'm like dude this is awesome thank you so i had had a good time with that as well let's see what else we got over here man out when i was out hunting with chris the evan williams small batch this is the american hero edition had to pick up a big one of these while we were out hunting um i just hadn't seen any in my area i've been wanting one of these i, I like the, the causes that it supports and a lot of people saying this is really good even for a 90 proofer so I'm interested to maybe have some fun with this, try it out, put it in some blinds, see where we go with this. Man, man, man. Next bottle. Let's go with this. Dark Arts. I, if you guys haven't had the opportunity yet, Dark Arts is doing a fantastic job. Um, they are the gentleman that is there now used to be in charge of their single barrel program. Uh, he's, he was out at wilderness trail. Now he's doing it out there. His name's McCulley. Fantastic works on this. This one right here is the Ambirana rye. If anyone's watched the channel for some period of time, you know, I love Ambirana. I love rye. So excited about this. I, they sent me samples. I fell in love with this and Vogel saying <laughs> gets me a bottle of it. So Dave, thank you very, very much. I truly appreciate it. Uh, I'm, we can't wait to dig into this one. I've still got a little bit of my sample that I'm working through, but I'll get into that one. Man, let me, let me get this one up here. Cause you know, I tell you people when they, when they send you stuff or when they hunt for you, and they find you something that's just really, really cool and unique. You know, it means a lot to me, especially when I'm opening and I'm having a pour. I think of that person that, you know what, they took their time. So anytime I get a bottle, you know, from someone from the channel, whether it's I, I paid for it or they just got it for me. When I drink it, it just has more meaning. And, and you talk about it. I've got two bottles right here. This one right here. This is from Michelle with one L and her husband. They happen to be in Kentucky. And she was like, is there anything you're looking for while you're there? And I'm like, you know, just tell me what you find. I am looking for something specific. And I told her what I was kind of looking for if they run into it. But then she's like, hey, they've got at the store, at a grocery store, I think it was. It's an Elijah Craig private barrel. And it's got this cool coin up here for the PGA, which is the little golf ball marker. But it's also signed. 
by their master distiller. Isn't that isn't that freaking cool? So Michelle picked this up for me. This is 123.2. I'm a big Elijah Craig fan as it is, but it, all, it, it had the signature of their master distiller on it. It comes with a cool coin there for golfing. And I'm like, that is freaking awesome. So it, that really meant a lot. And then on top of it, why they were there, you know, I that told her, I said, I'm looking for some peerless. I can't find peerless in my area. And she says, well, they've got some here. Which one are you interested in? This one's here's their single barrel. Uh, this is a bourbon whiskey. And so I'm, I was like, yes, let's get this one right here. And it's coming in like 109 or 118.2 proof. Great proof, proof point. Love, love to have this on my shelf. So anytime I dig into one of these and now it's going to be, I'm going to have the tater effect on this one because it's signed. You know, will I open it or will I won't? But either way, it's going to be a cool talking point. But when I open this one, I'll be thinking about Michelle with one L and her husband that they did this for me. You know, I was able to reimburse them for it. But just the thought that they were like, hey, we're going to be here. Is there something you're looking for? It just really meant a lot to me. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you very, very much, Michelle. Um, I, I, I think I said it just, it just uh, overwhelms me sometimes with the generosity you guys have. I truly appreciate it. And so let's see what else we've got down here. Oh my goodness. Let me pull up some other things up here first. I've just got so many balls to go through. Penelope Rio. So I was able to get this at one of the local stores here. Cheers. As you could tell, put a dent in this already, but actually brought it out to the Q1 quarterly drop in, in Alabama at Auburn. And I sampled a lot of this out and I've had some pours of this and I'm giving some pours away. So having a great time with that. But, you know, it was a nice bottle to pick up. I didn't have to go secondary on it, which was cool. It's something I enjoy, you know, but people are spending 175, 200 bucks on this. You know, it was a little more than a hundred bucks locally and it's a good pour, but man, I would hate that if I had to pay 200 bucks for this, because then you're like, you get so almost, I hate to say selfish, but you get so stingy sometimes with your pours. I mean, you got something and, and it's a hundred bucks isn't reasonable for everybody. So just. I'm throwing that out there, but I, I get overzealous and I pour a lot of stuff, but I thought, you know, let's have some fun with this. So this was a great bottle to pick up locally. Very, very interested in that. Um, was glad I can get it and, and then let other people try it. Cause that's the fun part about bourbon. You know, I, I say this all the time and I'm very serious about this. You know, if, if you say a bourbon's good, but nobody else ever tries it, is it really that good? So I want people to try it so they know it's good, you know, or they say, dang, I'm glad I didn't spend the money on that. So that was the fun part on there. <sighs> Man, locally, Dark Arts finally got to Georgia. And, you know, it, it, it hit the bottle shop. I'm so excited it's there. They do a great job with there. This is their single barrel one. This is their straight bourbon one. And it's coming at 115.4 proof, straight bourbon whiskey, the barely legal bourbon. So this one's a high rye, which I really, really like. So this will be a lot of fun too. So they've got three different ones that come out. The barely legal one, which is their barrel proof one, it's a bit higher proof that has 51% corn, make it barely legal. But then that high rye with 39% and the rye in there. And then what is it? 10% something else. And then 10% uh malted rye so you got two different types of rye in there you've got a rye and you got a malted rye which means they just basically cooked a little bit longer so i mean you basically you got a two grain well they call it two grain mash bill you got rye and, and you got corn in there so very cool excellent pour the one that i need to go back to get is the one that's from the bordeaux wine cask from france i enjoyed the sample like i said i've enjoyed all three and then there's also a benny's pick out there that man, I just had a sample of the other day, which was outstanding. And, and that's the Ambirana rye done in maple barrels. And it's like they took, they toasted Ambirana staves, threw it in their, in their rye juice and then put them in some maple barrels. So it was outstanding yesterday as well. But if you haven't had dark arts yet, I know they're, you know, they're, they're on the higher side of things. They're 80 plus bucks. You know, they're a craft distillery. Actually, they're, they're not a craft, craft distillery. They do not distill a thing. They're a craft blender. Um, you know, they do a great job of blending and refinishing things. Big fan of theirs. Big, big fan of theirs. Talk about a company I'm a big fan of, Southern Collective. I am a huge fan of Southern Collective. Pick this one up at Cheers. This was their 100th Barrelversary batch. I want to say this one is... Uh, 
straight rye and maple casks. So yeah, a uh, big fan of the, the rye and maple casks. So uh, rye and ambirana, rye and maple cask, rye with <laughs> and maple cask with toasted ambirana staves. You're, you're singing my thing. And I'm an absolutely huge fan of that. But Southern Collective is one of those distilleries. Well, like I said, it's not truly, I guess, a distillery. But one, a, a place where they blend and they finish. And they do a fantastic job. King of Georgia, one of my favorites last year, was from there. It's 100th Barrel Versary, which leads me into this next pick, which is Southern Collective. This is the Bottle Shop Exclusive Cease and Desist. This one right here is a single barrel bourbon whiskey. And then what they did with this is coming in 121.6 proof is they took their staves from a maker's mark, cut it up, and put it in there to get that extra flavor. And this thing is dark and rich. And I had to pick one of these up for a friend too. So there's actually two bottles around here, one for me, one for a friend. Um, but man, fantastic job. Southern Collectives does such nice things with their stuff. Dark Arts and Southern Collectives are two of my favorites with they bring other people's stuff in and they make it better. And I think that they do a great job. There's a, there's a skill set, a special skill set behind doing that. Ended up at a bottle shop again, and they have a 15-year American whiskey. This is the Bull Run. This is a uh, store pick exclusive coming in 117.28 proof, another bottle shop. I haven't got dug into this yet. There's been, I, there's some store picks I've been meaning to get. And I thought, you know, the month was going to start off slow. I said, let me get on some of these store picks. And as soon as I start picking up the store picks, it's like the break just, the break just went to hell. And I just went downhill ever since at that point. But looking forward to cracking this at some time. With the March Madness, I was trying so many samples. It was hard for me to even dig into some of my regular bottles that I got this month. But man, another another one I'm looking forward to try. Whew. Who doesn't like Kentucky Derby stuff? <laughs> I have a tater for this. I know. I, I'm probably never going to crack this just because it's got the 150th Kentucky Derby. I've got the 149th. You know, I'm probably going to start myself on this path where every year I'm going to get a bottle of Woodford. I'm never going to open. It's just going to look pretty somewhere. Tater bottle of the month is probably going to be the Woodford Reserve 150th uh, for the for the Kentucky Derby. But it is beautiful. It is nice. And Woodford's a good pour, but I, I strictly bought it for the tater factor. Just got to be honest. So let me talk about what I got from the state of Alabama this month. So there was the initial drop where I got the Antique 107 and I got the Black Label. And so one of the ladies there, that I'd known her for a long time, her son's into bourbon. And, you know, then she was picking stuff up for him because um, he's nice enough to put her name in the lottery and she won it, <laughs> which is cool. And she, as she come through, she's like, I only saw the blue ones, uh, labels out there, but I thought they were putting out some black labels. I said, okay, cool. So I went through the line. Sure enough, there were some black labels there. I picked that up in the Antique 107, came outside. And she was pulling up and she says, man, I think I messed up. He really wanted the black label and all they had was the blue. I said, well, let's swap them out. And, and she's like, really? I said, yeah, he's a great guy. You know, he's a, he's just done amazing things with this life. I've actually talked about him on the channel before. So if you, if you figure it out, you figure it out. Um, but, you know, so I ended up getting her the blue label. I ended up getting the 107. The 107 went to someone that's a member of the channel. You know, he had said, this is something I've been hunting for. And it's kind of one of his unicorn things. Doesn't come into his area. And I said, look, my cost is your cost. I got it M basically at MSRP. I'll get it to, you know, at, at state of Alabama. Here's what it's going to cost. And, you know, he got it and I got it to him. And I was very happy for that. And so then there was the blue label. And so we, I talked about earlier the 1792 single barrel store pick he had picked up for me. He was going to come meet me at the bourbon drop. His daughter wasn't feeling well. Luckily, she's feeling great now. I said, look, let's swap these bottles out. So I got him an old Forester single barrel and I got the, that 1792 single barrel. And then I went back this bracket buster weekend and I got Latin's Mini, which will be part of the giveaway uh, for next Sunday for the Patreons, and I got this bottle right here, which is a two ounce pour. 
if you happen to know that video um, and said the right things in the video, you'll be eligible for two ounce pour that next Sunday or this upcoming Sunday, along with the two ounce pour going out to the Patreons. But this is the second old force that I got. I'm keeping this one for myself and it's rolling in at 130.7 proof. Looking forward to cracking that. Try this one out soon and seeing what we got. Man, I feel like a used car salesman. I've been talking so much up here. Let's go back over here. So, on the hunting trip with Chris, I, I'm a big Blue Note fan. Mixtape 4, I did not have. We found that there. I'm like, I've got to get that. Love this. Just because I think they do, for 49 bucks. they do a very good bottle that comes in uncut, unfiltered, 112 to 120 something proof. And you can't miss out on them. I just, I just think that they're a good, very good pour, and sometimes special pours uh, for forty nine bucks. And I'm like, yeah, let me get this. So pick this up while I was out with Chris. Man, Red Line Elements. <sighs> this one came from my buddy Matt. Like I said, he was out hunting, and he happened to go by a store. He says, "Hey, they got this here. This is my Rio killer." You know, there's other people that say, oh, this is a real, this is my real killer. If you haven't been on Redline yet, you need to get on them. They do a great job. This is a Honey Amburana. It's got a little more pop than the Penelope. It's a little more, you know, it's got a little bit more something to it. Penelope is a little bit smoother. You kind of flow through it a little bit easier. This one's got a little more pop to it. And then it calls to me, but that's the one I call my, my Rio killer over there. Matt, thank you very much for that. Rye 3 Cognac finish. This is when I was out with Chris and we were hunting. Uh, I'm a big Rye 3 fan. I think they're doing a great job. I, I'd love to find one of their American Light whiskeys. They got like the 16 year out. I haven't been able to run into that one yet. I've heard it's fantastic. I, you know, I, I'm not going to get everything, even though it seems like I try, uh, but I would love to get that. But I think this will be good right here just because I like some of their stuff that they've done. This was bottled exclusively for Georgia. Um, pick this up, like I said, when I was out with Chris. I think this would probably go really well with a cigar. Looking forward to seeing what I get with this over here. Man, I'm running out of space again, aren't I? So a couple of bottles also that I picked up that I've been wanting to get up. Like I said, I thought maybe this would be a slower month. Didn't quite work out that way. Redwood Empire. This is the Grizzly Beast, I believe. Yeah, Grizzly Beast. So they've got it and they've also got a new one that's coming out that I want to get as well. But I didn't have this for my collection, and I, and I really like Redwood Empire stuff. And I said, let me pick this up. Found it at a local store. I think this one was at the bottle shop. And I said, I'll get this, and I'll be happy and good to go with that one. I promise I'm almost done. Oh, my gosh. When does this end? Hewling Station. So this is another bottle shop exclusive. It's coming in at 111.34 proof, seven years. Never had a Hewling Station. Um, if anyone's had some before, you know, don't tell me the, the notes on it, but tell me if you liked it or not. I'm very curious. Like I said, the Bottle Shop does a really good job with their picks. So now I'm going to have to get this one into it and see what I think about it. It's at a good proof point. I think it's, it's one of those ones where, you know, I tend to like things a little bit higher, but if I get good flavors, especially at this proof point, it could be a real good night. So looking forward to this. Last one on the hunt with Chris. Good old, good old times. Now this one's neat. So this is a Hawaiian honey. Um, and this was exclusively done for bootleggers liquor. Um, looking forward to trying this one out. Um, I've got a cigar cut that I got from Derek a, a few months back. I need to open up and check it out. There's this one. There's also a local firefighter in the area that's going to be doing a good times as well. I'm looking forward to getting a bottle or two of that as well. All will be different profiles, but that'll give me three good times that I'll have around. But I'm looking forward to the wine and honey. This also helps with a donation to the wildfires that, that happened in Maui. So looking forward to getting into this and, and maybe doing some other comparisons versus some of the other honey batches. I, I tend to like my bourbon sweet and I do like some finished stuff. This could be one that could be right in there. Now... You probably thought he can't have anything else, right? Well, yeah, there's more. Stag. Terrence. 
Thank you. Thank you so very much. Terrence Walker sent me this amazing gift. This is 23B. This is a stag. If you watch Saturday nights, you'll know that these are shelfers. You know, you can get them all. No, seriously, these are hard to find. Terrence, I'd absolutely appreciate this. I definitely enjoyed the cracking this. Um, can't wait to get back into it some more. If you've watched Saturday night, you'll notice that I fell in love with the Jack Daniels over a different batch of stag. But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that either. But this is a tremendous gift. Terrence, thank you very much, my friend. I know that uh, you, I try to keep up with some of the generosity. You and Dave always blow me away. I try to keep up, but you guys keep killing me on it. But thank you so very much. This is a bottle that I treasure. Anytime I have a sip of this, I'll be like, man, my buddy took care of me here. Thank you so much. All right. Down to the final three, I guess. Yeah. So... I've been looking for this one for a while. This is the E.H. Taylor. This is the, the barrel proof. This is batch 12 coming in at 131.1 proof. This was also on the um, Saturday night uh, trash palette <laughs> with, with Baker Drinks and with Matt from Whiskey Wisdom. Uh, but I, I had to trade something for this. You know, Dan, thank you very, very much for that. Was so thankful that uh, he was able to trade out something. I was able to trade out something. That we, that we both wanted in order for me to get this. Um, definitely like this bottle. I'm going through this bottle pretty quick so far, which means that I really, really like it. I know I've sampled a lot out, but yeah, I'm over halfway done on that bottle already. That's what happens when I find something I really super like is that I end up either drinking it really fast, but most more than likely I've sampled it out really, really fast. All right, final two. This one right here is really, really heavy. Oh, let's see if we can get this thing open. So this is the Angel's Envy. This is the Cellar Collection series. I think this is freaking super cool. There's a little lock on here type of thing. You do this and you open it up and you get like these three different books that are in there that you can pull out. And each one of these has a 3.75 of their Cellar Edition stuff. I was able to get this as part of a points program um, locally, um, man, and, and they took really good care of me on the price. I think this thing just looks super freaking cool as well. I mean, it just it just shines. It looks really nice. Even got the little angel wings on the top and stuff. So I, I know when I crack it, I'm going to be in trouble because I'll be like, hey, you want to try this out? So I haven't done anything with it yet, but this is the first time I've really told anybody about this. But absolutely, absolutely uh, very thankful for one of my local stores and the point system for that there. Last bottle. Whew. I know it took us a while to get here. It's on 25 minutes. Sorry about that. But this last bottle, if you, and I happen to be with Chris again, you know, uh, back in March, it was 19th, um, I was able to go visit um, 13th Colony Distilleries. And as those, you know, no, I'm a huge fan of 13th Colony. I think they do a fantastic job. You know, I, I had a bottle of their 15th anniversary and it's gone. <laughs> 100% gone. And I'd sampled out probably 75% of that bottle. But that's fine. That's the fun part behind it. But when we were there, you know, Chris and I got to try some amazing things, have some amazing conversation. And then at the end, you know, a bottle was donated to the channel. Now, this is signed not only by Graham, their master distiller, but by Max, one of their owners. And he was the one that spent time with us. And we had a lot of great pours and great conversation with him. But this bottle, you know, has been pegged for one of the two bottles that I'll be doing, you know, for Memorial Day pours coming up. You know, I, I, last year I had, you know, there's a couple of big bottles on there. There was a George T. Stag and then there was the 13th Colony double oaked this year it's going to be a pappy van winkle with rye 13 year rye uh, and then this bottle the 15th uh, anniversary um, from over at 13th colony so when it gets closer to time for memorial day we'll do something for memorial day and we'll get some winners for some pours for that because i think that remembrance and reflection it's very important and i think that people kind of forget what memorial day is for sometimes but this bottle was donated to the channel, and this has been targeted specifically for that Memorial Day pour giveaway 
along with uh, the Pappy, the 13 year rye. But amazing month this month. I, you know, I, and, and as I go through all these things, the most incredible bottles that were here are because other people helped me get them, you know, donated them, bought them for me, let me reimburse them, um, you know, and stuff like that. But I wouldn't have had all this had, had it not been for, for you guys. You guys are the ones that helped get me some amazing stuff. And I'm truly thankful for it, you know. And we had that visit at 13th Colony. There was two other things that we got there, you know. I got these cool decanters right here. I mean, this is, what is this? A, is this a 1971? So this is the 1971 PGA Palm Beach Gardens, Florida Professional Golfers Association uh, Jim Beam decanter, which is super cool. And, and then on top of it, I got this old Fitzgerald Prime decanter, uh, which I just think is absolutely uh, cool as well. So we got these two cool, two cool decanters. And then Chris got a freaking super cool decanter. And that's his story to tell. But I'm like, man, it just blew me away. His, his wife looked at something on there and he took a picture of it and sent it to me. And it was just like so freaking cool. But a heck of a month collecting some super cool decanters, some great stories behind it. And that's the best part. And some, and some pours that I'll have memories of when I have those pours. And when I'm hopefully making memories with other people. I know this was a long one. There was a lot to collect this month. But thank you for hanging in there with me. Um, I, I hope you guys, if you're working today, I hope your work day goes by fast. I hope you bring lots of energy and you're successful in everything that you do. When you finally get that off time, when it slows, I hope it slows down a little bit. I hope you enjoy your time. Well, hey, little fly. I hope you enjoy your time with your friends and your family and do something for yourself. Take that time to do something for yourself. But most importantly, all cheers and God bless. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you.